our exclusive video of a ridiculously close encounter with a shark, a near-death experience that was caught on tape by a very brave or crazy fisherman. And they always say it's the shark that you don't see that's the one that worries you. I suddenly looked through the, the lens gun. Holy crap, there's a huge shark there. This thing was massive. Get in the boat, Alex, and straight to the boat! They're very fast, they're big, they're powerful. And for him to be right there in the water, right next to it all happening, unheard of. There's blood all through the water. Then all of a sudden I went, you know what? This probably isn't the best place to be hanging around. It was a fishing expedition in the name of science. Al McGlashan and his mates, along with the fisheries officer, had caught a striped marlin and tagged it. The fish was exhausted. So you can see now he's got it by the bill. He's holding it there, keeping the head down to get the water up and running through. As they prepared to let it go, Al jumped in to get some footage of what was supposed to be a textbook release, but something else had an eye on them. He's watching it, obviously, for an opportunity to come and add him to the menu. As a guessing game, how far below you would the shark be now without you even knowing it? Oh, mate, he could be just 10 metres below me. I have no idea. He could be swimming right under you. When the Mako struck, it took Al and everyone on the boat who was watching completely by surprise. You can see the shark there. He is there underneath, coming up. And this... you see me stick my head up going, oh. So this is the moment right now? Yeah. You'll see my head come up as it comes in. You know, it's like... Holy crap, there he is there, you know, you can see him come in underneath and I've looked up going, ooh, this has changed the game a bit, you know. Al was isolated and his fishing mates were in no position to help him. This mako was a monster, three metres long and a quarter of a tonne. The fastest shark in the world versus a bloke in board shorts. Al, I would have been up on the boat on, on, on dry straight away. Well, that's the interesting thing because he was between me and the boat, so I probably had no option to stay there and shoot the shoot the photos as much as I could, you know. Al was metres from a monster, but kept filming and taking photos, hoping desperately that he was in fact capturing this incredible moment. I've gone, that's going to make an awesome photo. And so I'm just sitting there clicking, clicking, clicking. As quickly as it arrived, the shark was gone. You know what? There's a time when I should be in the water, there's a time when I need to get out. I thought, this is the time to get out. Oh, yeah, get in, Al, get in, Al, go back. It's amazing. I've never seen anything like that. Amy Wilkes is a marine biologist at Sydney Aquarium. Oh, there he is, out of nowhere. Far out. A shark expert who's seen nothing like this encounter ever before. Mako's are so fast. They come in, they, they grab their prey and then they're gone again. So to be there right at that exact moment and catch it is... Yeah, it's phenomenal, really, yeah. In, in one word, spectacular. I just think it's really impressive footage and one in a million kind of shot, really, and, and very exciting for him to have been so close to all the action, I think. Hello, Chris. How are you, mate? Welcome Good to my to office. Al McGlashan has been hooked on yeah, fishing for as long as he can remember. My theory was I never wanted to work a day in my life, so I tried the suit and tie for a while and nah, I didn't like working for someone else. A professional fisherman, fishing writer and photographer, he's seen and done it all. Every adventure captured on his own DVD series. I've been fishing pretty much my whole life. Landing marlin and wrestling with sharks, all just a day's work. Until his encounter with the Mako, this was Al McGlashan's proudest moment. Al McGlashan reeled in a record-breaking tuna weighing 154.7 kilos. It's enough to make an already passionate angler go over the top. That is a big fish! This latest encounter bigger than he'd even contemplated before. And it's only increased Al's love of the water, fishing and photography. You're seeing these things in the natural environment is just amazing. And out there, it's all fluid. There's nothing to look at. It's just blue background. And these fish swimming around, it's, you know, I don't know, it's a sort of... Excitement that you can't control, you know, you're just like, oh, I've got to go back. As for his family, they've mixed feelings about the danger, especially his wife. Ah, uh, she's talking to me again, yeah, so the kids are excited about it.